Hey, I'm Jeff on the Rive team, and I'm going to talk to you about data binding types. And I'm going to use this file that Sanu on the Rive team created. So thank you, Sanu. So when you're binding for something like colors and strings, you have these choices to make. You get target to source, bidirectional, bind once, and none. And I'm going to demonstrate what each of those do. So first, I'll create a view model for my artboard. And in my data tab, I'll go to the view model, and I'm going to add a string property and a color property. And I'll just rename those to color and text. And in my hierarchy, I will come over to my text strings here, and I'm going to bind each of these to the property of text. On my first one, I'm going to choose target to source, and that is going to take the value in the text run and push it into the view model. On my next one, I'll bind it to text, and I'm going to choose bidirectional. That means the data here can go into the view model property, and the view model property data can come into the text run here. Whichever is updated will update the other. On bind once, we'll bind it to text and choose bind once. This means it gets bound once when the state machine starts and then doesn't get updated again from there. And for none, we will just bind it to text and we won't choose any of these options. All right, and we'll do the same thing for the color in these icons. So if I select my icon here, I've got a base color here that I'm gonna bind to the color property. So I'll choose color and this one will do target to source. On this one, we'll bind the color and set it to bidirectional. Next, we'll do bind to color and bind once and finally we'll just bind it to the color with no additional selections now in my view model if i set my color to let's say i'll set it to this orange so that it looks as we might expect so i'm going to play my state machine now and we'll look and we'll notice that my color here is this orange color and my text is initial value. So when we play the state machine, we see that text string one is, remains here, and text string two is set for the other options. And in the view model itself, we've got text string two. So what happens is the value within the bidirectional text run is getting sent to the view model, and that is updating the other runs. And what happens though is that it doesn't update target to source. If we want to update that, if we come into the value here and we say, uh, we'll say TTS for target to source, you'll notice it updates here by directional updates because that was put into the property in the view model and the none one gets updated as well because that is just coming from the view model and bind once doesn't update at all. That just got bound to text string two at the beginning and it's not gonna get updated by the view model anymore. Uh, now, if we come in though to the bidirectional and we make a change here, we can see that the one is target to source. We update this, bind once remains the same and the none also updates because in the view model, the value is now the word bidirectional and target to source remains as it was and again bind once can't be updated none can only be updated if the value in the property changes we can test the same thing with color as well so if i come over to my view model and i have a color here i paste in another color value we'll see that the view model property updates the bidirectional color as well as the none color. Uh, bind once remains at its initial color and target to source doesn't get updated either because this one can only come from the artboard into the view model. And let's see what that looks like actually. So if I come to that icon and let's say I grab the green color and I paste it in for this icon, we can see it gets updated, bidirectional gets updated, bind once remains with its initial binding and none also gets updated because in the view model, this color got updated. So this one pushes the value into the view model. And for bidirectional, 
it'll work very similarly. Let me grab the blue color and on the bi-directional icon, if I paste that color in, that one will update as well as the none and the view model property also updates, but not target to source and not bind once. So hopefully that helps to clarify some of what those icons do and how you can use those in your projects.